Launching an external pen test is an easy way to gain a new perspective into your environment. To begin, you will select External Assets tab. You will then create an asset group. These asset groups are used to scope the external pen test. You will have 72 hours after asset discovery completes to authorize and run an external pen test before you will need to rerun the asset discovery scan in case of an environmental drift. You will then provide a name for this asset discovery, as well as your top level domain name. We will be able to identify and enumerate the hosts and host names that are under that top level domain. Similar to internal pen tests, you will have the ability to scan your Git and AWS accounts. You will then provide your company name and you will also have the option to brute force any subdomains that are listed under that top level domain. You will then run asset discovery. Once your asset discovery has completed, you will select your asset group listed under the external assets tab. From here, you will be able to select your top level domain and add to configuration or remove from configuration. You will then be able to select your subdomains. From here, you have the option to select each individual subdomain or bulk select. You can authorize for pen test, remove authorization, as well as mark IPs as dynamic or static. After you have reviewed and selected the subdomains that you would like to add to your external pen test, you will select to take action and authorize for pen tests. You will then see a warning pop up. This warning is to verify that you are aware that you are authorizing assets that may fall outside of your own domain. You will then select authorize. You then have the ability to view your Git accounts and your AWS accounts. From here, you can run external pen test. The configuration window will then show you the templates available and also give you the option to name your external pen test and you will select the asset group that you just created and then click next. On the advanced configuration window, you have the option of the types and services and vulnerabilities Node Zero will attempt to enumerate and exploit. Once you have finished your configuration settings, you must click the box that acknowledges you have the legal authority to conduct Horizon 3's external penetration tests on the list of assets you've provided. After selecting the box, you will then run your external pen tests. 